guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another Patreon request. It's from Daphne D. Uh, the band is called XTC and the song is called Dear God. Another one I know nothing about and I'm excited to see because new music on the channel is what we're all about. Cannot wait for this because um, Daphne has really good uh, diverse um, bands that she lets me listen to on this channel. So uh, looking forward to it already. Now, before we jump into this reaction, if you do like my videos, then please consider hitting like and subscribe. It supports me, it supports the channel, and I appreciate it very, very much. So let's get straight into this. Dear God by XTC. Let's go. Oh, so basically, obviously, at the start of this song, it's a it's a prayer for the people, the whole lot of people in the world, where the where there's no balance in the world. Is there's people starving and poverty, and there's other people who live a rich, rich lavish lifestyle, and he doesn't want like millions of dollars. What he's praying for, he wants the, just everyone to not be going hungry and everyone to be, you know, having the fur crack at life, if you like. That's what I think he's alluding to in this song. That's what it sounds like, anyway. Um, nice touch putting the kid in at first, and obviously, it's going to change to the singer, probably in the same clothes. I didn't really take notice because I'd stopped it and rewound it, but yeah, uh, loving, the, I lo loving the acoustic nature of this song because I do like acoustic songs as well. Okay. So now he's saying he can't believe in the God for the simple fact that um, people, loads of different people have different perceptions of God and um, nobody ever gets along when they start talking about this topic. They'll say, God is this, God is that, God is the other. He's my God. He's, there's only one God, there's only one God, but there's 20 million religions and 20 million gods. So, you know, whose is the right one? You know what I mean? There's, there's none. This, this is one argument that would never, ever, ever be solved. No one will ever agree on two different gods. And this is why this guy in this um, band is saying, I can't believe in you because, you know, there's so many different variations of people saying this, that, and the other. Um, it's a true message more than anything else. Absolute point. Did you make mankind after we made you? That is an excellent, excellent point and a talk, a talking um, subject for uh, a lot of people, because a lot of people believe in evolution. A lot of people be believe we were created, but then a lot of people have this view where, like you said there, um, did you make disease? Because if he's going to make us all pure, blah, 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 why would you make diseases that kill us off, etc.? Or make us sick. Um, so, you know, it, things like that do question people's faith. And that's what they're getting in. I think they're going to, judging by what they've said, the topics they've talked about in, in the godly um, vein so far, I think they're going to go across right across the, the spectrum of everything that's wrong with the world. 
that's where I think this the whole message of this song will be. Now he's bringing the devil into it because we made that. Okay. Going all in now, in and putting it in a nice smiley way. He's saying um, about your name being referenced in this book so many times, and it's a book that we actually made and we wrote and we fabricated, and it's junk because it was manufactured by people who wrote it. And it like it, apparently, it's a story. I don't know the ins and outs of what and how it came about and everything. I'll, I'll openly admit that I'm an atheist and I don't I don't believe in higher powers of, of any sort. Until I, see, I don't even believe in ghosts or anything like that. Until I see something, um, I you know I'm I'm pretty much like if it's in front of me and I've seen it, I, I believe it sort of thing. Um, that's just my view. It doesn't make me a bad person. It doesn't make someone a bad person for believing in it. But this guy is just addressing what other people say about certain things within religion and, and the Bible and stuff like that. It's uh, it's it's a topic of discussion that everybody talks about at some point. Right, well, I've really enjoyed the song, definitely. Uh, I think the meaning is very, very edgy, for, especially to people who were, uh, who believe in it 100%, and there's people who don't believe 100%, there's people in the middle, somewhere in the middle, who go, mm, uh, and, and he's, he's actually angry at the, at the end of the song about people who, who get lost at sea, etc., and, and why, if you was a god, why would you have all these bad things happening to people, um, you know, when you could sort it out sort of thing. So yeah, that is this guy obviously doesn't does not believe in God one iota. So he's wrote a song about it, and that's there's no there's no need to write uh, to look up a meaning. It's black and white what he's saying this thing, and uh, like I say, I have no opinion on it. I have no opinion on it. I like I say before, I only believe in what I've seen, and if I've not seen something, I don't believe in it. I mean, I'm, I'm not stupid. If someone said like oh, um, the pyramids, I've not seen them with my own eyes, but I've seen them on the TV. Uh, where people have like news news reports and stuff like that, I, I know that they are there, even though I've not seen them. What I'm talking about is spiritual entities, things that are is supposed to be there. You know what I mean, like like ghosts and fabricated stories and and legends that you, you can't see. Loch Ness monster, for instance, in uh, Scotland, that's that thing's been alive for fucking two hundred years. What animal stays alive for two hundred years? Do you know what I mean? And it, like, until you see it with your own eyes. Um, th the way I am, that's the way I'm. I'm a realist, if you like. And but yeah, it was a really, really good song. I'm going off topic. It was a really, really good song. I like the acoustic nature of it as well. It was very, very calm, and even though he was very, very, very angry about God and everything that happens in the world. So 
kudos to him for writing the song and being uh, strong enough to, to talk about what he wants to talk about. Anyway, if you like my videos, then please hit like, subscribe, and support me on Patreon or any of the social medias, then the link's in the description. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.